Hey, welcome back to Blah. We'll take a look at the Zombie Shamble card game. Alright. Made by a company called Wild Thing. Two to four players, or six, so I guess you can't have five. Five to 15 minute playing time. Never a fan of when they do cards in a box like this. Not a fan at all. Okay. Cards here. And some cards here. Okay. Let's play one deck. See how long the instructions are. And okay. So two pages, a medium print. All right, came here, I can read it. Premise, zombie apocalypse happened, and the zombies won. Now what? <laughs> Any more people to eat, and the, rotting, and the rotting eternity is downright boring. I just the zombies came up with an idea to have like a race. Okay, the object of the game. You will complete marathons measured in kilometers or miles. Zombie races are measured in only steps. Okay. After all, when you motor control is gone, blah, 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 joke, joke, joke. Getting a mere 25 steps is quite a feat. <laughs> it becomes a spectator sport. Okay. Albert Blair, all kinds of complications can hinder you. In short, your object is to be the first zombie, shambler, or team of shamblers to get to 25 steps to win the race. There are four types of cards in zombie shamble. I'm guessing this might be the Calamity card. Looks like a misprint. Because I do not see... Okay. Yeah, this Calamity card looks like a fist with a, maybe a finger pointing, but I'm pretty sure it is. The danger card. Because the other symbol does not exist. Guess I'm just not seeing it. Anyways, alright. Make sure that's calamity. All right, step card. Move four, <laughs> move four steps towards the finish line. Represent the number of steps, your zombie moves towards the finish line. Okay, so step card to move. And calamity cards. So everyone has to discard their entire hand, shuffle the cards from discard, draw a pile back together, and deal out for fresh hands. Okay, that probably will be a calamity. Anything, any number of messed up things that happen to zombies when they try to move in a single direction as fast as possible. Generally you play these to make other people's have other people have bad days, okay. And this card. So fortune card cancels a trip calamity card. It's very specific. So yeah, so these cards are the helpful cards. You get calamity cards. Trump cards. So star on it. It can be affected by whole or wrong way calamity cards. So I guess they stay out in front of you, maybe. Represent an exceptional zombie who has overcome certain disabilities to stay in the race. You play these cards to make sure that you can't be taken out by certain calamity cards for the rest of the turn. Okay, that was, that was just for a turn, I guess. Okay, two or three players you'll play against the other for the win. 
Four players, teams of two or not. Okay. Set up. Playing teams, blah, blah, blah. Select a dealer, some jokes. Dealer shuffles the deck and deals each player six cards face down. The remaining cards end up in the draw pile. All right, the deck is rather large. Here. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do two players. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Each player looks at their hand. Feel free to groan as much as you want about the hand you've been dealt. Uh, the dealer player, the dealer plays first for his trouble. Okay. All right, well, here we go. Turn sequence. Draw a card, play a card. Simple enough. Playing step cards, most obvious advantage to you. Never have more than six cards in your hand at the end of your turn. Fine, you do this card until you end up with six. Bad hands. So you got a hand of nothing but calamity and fortune cards, but you really need to get moving. You can use any calamity or fortune card to move one step forward. Just put the card down by the rest of your step cards so everyone knows it's used as a step. However, when you do this, you're effectively burying that card for the rest of the hand. When we reshuffle back in the deck, when that time comes, okay. So, if you put a Calamity card as a step, it's pretty much out of the circulation, you won't see it again. But it can be discarded as such, because it's just a step card. So, if someone uses a Trip Calamity, they can actually get rid of it, and we'll go back in the deck. Alright, winning. So you played a bunch of cards, moved some steps, Mess with each other, blah, blah, blah. Remember to race to 25 steps first. However, you need to reach 25 steps exactly, not one step over. Okay. So, I start moving. This means you can hover at 23 steps for several turns where your opponent manages to catch up. With even 25. All right, so. Seems pretty simple. On your turn, you have your six cards. You're gonna draw a card, play a card. So on your first turn, you should probably take as much steps as possible. So we got four steps. I put four steps in front of me. Back down to six. And second player will go. Draw this card. Let's see if he doesn't do anything. Nope. So he's on defense. So pile up. Play a second card in addition to this one. Draw two cards. And we only take another turn. So that's pretty good. So he would have to play pile up. He only has one step, and he gets to draw how many two cards? So he draws two, taking the return. So he has pile up again. So he'll do the same thing, pile up. I believe these go to the discard pile. Take four steps, draw two more cards, take another turn, Two steps. So on this turn, he went, what do you got? Uh, seven steps. And first player went four steps. Let me make sure you, I'm pretty sure you discard these. So if you are hit with a Calamity card, 
let's see. Like distracted, and the second player has um, some of the cancels distracted. He can play it, and then immediately draws a card to refill his hand. So as the play continues like that, back and forth, first player's turn, draws a card. So he can cancel the wrong way if he gets hit with that. Those three steps. So he has a pile up, so you would definitely play that. Play this, draw two. Take an additional turn, two steps. So now he's at what? Nine steps. Goes back to this guy. Yeah, this is definitely um, just a luck based game. I think mean, he's a draw. I mean, I guess he's a minimal strategy in your hand. So I guess he plays kind of just like an opponent there, loses his next turn. So I guess he was about to win. We play this, skip him, draw, get something like pile up again. Final play goes back and forth until someone gets to 25 steps exactly. I played this game like I think once, maybe twice, and it's it's not very good. <laughs> it's not a very good game. Tommy um, Samuel. It is what well, it was cheap when I got it though. I don't know if you're really I don't know, zombie fan, the art's okay. I mean, I guess it's fun for like casual people because it's easy to teach. Any card, just draw a card, play a card, and pretty much just read what it says. So that, that is a plus, I guess. But yeah, have a zombie shamble.